The Life and Sad Ending of Mike Farrell Mike Farrell was born Michael Joseph Farrell Jr. on February 6, 1939 in St. Paul, Minnesota to Agnes Sarah Crossgrove and Mike Joseph Farrell Sr. His father was a movie studio carpenter. He is one of the four children of his parents. Mike grew up in West Hollywood. He was acquainted with rock and roll star Ricky Nelson and actor Natalie Wood in his childhood. Mike is of Irish descent. At the age of two, Mike moved to Hollywood, California with his family. There, he attended West Hollywood Grammar School and later graduated from Hollywood High School. Following his graduation, Mike began serving in the United States Marine Corps. He was posted at Camp Haston, Okinawa. Life goes through a mess. Life doesn't stop trying. Good Mike Farrell goes through two marriages. Mike married actor Judy Hayden in August 1963 and separated from her in 1980. Their divorce was finalized in 1983. They have two children, Michael and Aaron. Mike and Judy co-starred in a few episodes of M.A.S.H. On December 31st, 1984, he married actor Shelley Fabers. Mike is an avid motorcyclist. Despite having a high IQ, he is terrible at the game of chess. He loves poetry and had a flair for writing at one point in time. Mike enjoys watching basketball but cannot play the sport. He never watches or attends football games as he considers it a violent sport. Mike hates firearms, although he has served in the Marines. After his stint with the Marine Corps, Mike took up several odd jobs. He then began his career as an actor. In the initial days of his career, Mike did some commercials. His first acting project was the 1963 comedy film Captain Newman, M.D. Unfortunately, Mike had a brief role in the movie, and it was uncredited. He played Captain Kendall in the 1966 government film The Year of 53 Weeks. Mike did two more uncredited roles in the films The Graduate and Countdown. Simultaneously, Mike was cast in guest roles in a few TV series. He appeared as a young USFS ranger in the series Lassie as federal agent Modell in an episode of the NBC series The Monkees, an astronaut Arland in the fantasy sitcom I Dream of Jeannie, and as an army doctor in ABC's Combat. Mike also acted in two TV movies, namely Doomsday Machine and The Longest Night. Both of them were aired in 1972. In 1968, Mike was cast as Scott Banning in the NBC soap opera Days of Our Lives. The same year, he was seen as Dick Blaine in the thriller flick Panic in the City and as a naval officer in the crime film Dayton's Devils. In 1970, Mike appeared in the CBS primetime series The Interns and in 1971, he was seen as an assistant in ABC's The Man and the City. Mike then signed a contract with Universal Studios, under which he was cast in the 1974 science fiction drama TV movie, The Quester Tapes. He then guest starred in a few of Universal Studios shows, such as Bannock, Mannix, Marcus Welby, MD, and The New Land. During the same time, Mike appeared in two more TV movies, Live Again, Die Again, and She Cried Murder. In 1975, Mike appeared as B.J. Honeycutt in the CBS war comedy series M.A.S.H. He begged the role after actor Wayne Rogers quit the show toward the end of his third season. The character B.J. Honeycutt was freshly created for Mike. It was a dream role for Mike, as he was a huge fan of M.A.S.H. He continued playing the character in the series for the next eight years until the end of the show. Mike also wrote five episodes of M.A.S.H. The series is also his directorial debut. He directed four of its episodes. Some of the notable TV series that have seen him in brief roles are the crime drama Murder, She Wrote, the animated series Justice League, and the mystery comedy Desperate Housewives. He and his wife, Shelley Faber, voiced the Superman characters Jonathan Kent and Martha Kent, respectively, in 1996. Mike has hosted many National Geographic Presents special episodes. He starred and co-produced the war drama TV movie Memorial Day. In 1979, Mike was seen in two TV movies, Sex and the Single Parent and Letters from Frank. Some of his other TV movies are Prime Suspect, Choices of the Heart, Private Sessions, Vanishing Act, The Price of the Bride, The Whereabouts of Jenny, and Silent Movie. Mike has also acted in two one-person shows, namely JFK, a one-man show, and David W. Rintel's play, Clarence Darrow. In 1985, Mike co-founded Farrell Minoff Productions, along with film and TV producer Marvin Minoff. Under the production house, they produced several TV movies. 
They also served as producers of two major feature films, the 1988 Orion Pictures film Dominic and Eugene, and the 1998 Robin Williams starred Patch Adams. Mike continued his partnership with Marvin till the latter's death in November 2009. In 1999, Mike appeared in the reoccurring role of veterinarian Jim Hansen in the NBC melodrama series Providence. He played the character in 64 episodes of the series. Mike is known for his protests against many violent issues. A peace-loving person, Mike heavily protested against the involvement of the U.S. in the wars against Afghanistan and Iraq. He has also advocated for the abolition of capital punishment in the U.S. For more than 10 years, Mike has been the president of Death Penalty Focus, a nonprofit organization that works for the cause, and a member of the advisory board of the National Coalition to Abolish the Death Penalty. He became the first person to win the Human Rights Award of Death Penalty Focus, and in 2006, the award was named after him. Mike decided to take a leave from his duty as president of Death Penalty Focus as he was working for the Proposition 62 campaign. He considers the death penalty a barbaric process that inflicts damage on our society. Life is impermanent, and it also tells us that if we do not try to pursue the passions of youth, the regrets that end in the old years never ask its erosion that was once harsh, how? Mike Farrell is now 81 years old and not in the same health as before, wishing his old friend a lot of joy in his life and full happiness.